think this is probably a good candidate here. It's still alive, but I don't like the way it's leaning. We gotta thin some of these out anyway. Alright. So I'm gonna say this tree is uh every bit of eight inches in diameter, still alive. But we're trying to clear things out over here. And uh, I've been threatening to use Gladius to chop down a tree on video now for, I don't know, a year, two years, something like that. So uh, I need to leave the stump accessible for the tractor to pull the rest of it. So I'd say probably right here in this narrow spot is what I'm going to work on. So see what we do. Looks like it's starting to get ready to go already. Gotta take a break for just a second, my hands are hurting. <laughs>
Talk about the Gladius. Sure. All right, so this is a combat grade Gladius from uh, when they first were announced back in Blade 2010. And uh, a good friend of mine picked this up for me even though I wasn't able to go. Started out, it had black coating on it. I stripped it off with uh, clean strip. Gel. And, yeah, the gel works pretty good. Took the black coating off, then I used a Scotch Bright wheel. Just kind of removed all the decarb off of it. It's not satin in any way. Kind of has that old antique look to it. It's actually what I like because uh, it doesn't really show any scratches. But it also doesn't stick in the wood. Whether you're doing splitting or whatever, this obviously isn't the greatest for splitting, but works pretty darn good for chopping. So, all right, I give my wussy butt a chance to catch my breath for a second here, and I'll continue on. One of the unique things about this Gladius is the shape of the handle. It will let you choke up, get a two hand grip even with big hands, but you gotta wear gloves so that you don't catch the knobs in your fingers. These are actually insulated gloves, so I got a little bit of protection. But uh, the other thing about it is if you try to use what you think would be the sweet spot for the most leverage out here, you get a real bad almost I bounce. can feel it but there's a bounce if you come back right here no bounce I don't know if you're getting as much leverage out of it but it works Did it hit the other tree? I think the uh, branch on the other tree is helping hold it up here. Might give me an excuse to go all the way through it.
Alright. It's pretty much cracked all the way through, so. <laughs> Stubborn, huh? Yeah. Sweat my eyes here. I don't know why I'm not doing much. Oh, I'm getting tired. Yeah, it looks like it's ready to fall over. Give it a few more legs. Alright. I'm going to take these away. There it is. And you can come over here and show them how much I got through before I broke it. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a dug fur, so it's not super hard, but decent. And, whoops, man, I am tired. Now it's You're about tired. <laughs> Honey. I can't feel my. <laughs> can't feel that right hand. It's all numb from vibrations. Anyways, in an emergency, if it was all you had, it'll work. Definitely prefer having a chainsaw, but if I was in a situation where fuel or modern day luxuries weren't an option, and I needed something with a little bit of reach and defense capabilities. The other neat thing about this blade is you got two edges to work with. So what I did is I convexed the, the one side a little bit, knocked the shoulders down, and uh, left the fat V edge on the other. It's kind of like having two asymmetric edges on one blade. You got your V edge and you got your convex. So it gives you some versatility. I did all this with the convex because the, with the V side, does a lot more bouncing than chopping or cutting. And uh, that's it. Gladius by Bussy Combat.